Hi there guys, my name is Ryan and you can learn make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see this portrait is looking amazing and it's done by Eula David. So a huge thanks to her for providing us with the raw files. So first thing first I'm going to do is clean this portrait. But before we start retouching this amazing portrait, make sure to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file and the retouching actions. So if you want to follow my step by step process of this video tutorial, please check the link, download the free raw file and uh, get my makeup artist retouching actions or the recently uh, pack that I have uh, created my creator bundle pack 2023 so I'm just gonna click here clean and click play uh, and uh, wait until it's done and after it's done just click on the clean and start cleaning this amazing portrait with a spot healing brush I'm gonna speed up this process because it's only the clean So here we are and as you can see a before and after what we've done with the cleaning and I think that is looking okay. Now I'm just gonna put this on top just like that. Remove the clean and here we have only the clean layer. I'm gonna click here on uh, sorry I'm going to merge both of them and click on frequency separation click play. Wait until it's done and open the frequency separation zoom in and here we have the color and the texture so we are going to work in the color first and after we are done with the color we are going to work in the texture so in the color we have to work with the mixer brush and the right settings for mixer brush are wet by 10 load by 45 mix by 33 and flow by 33 just like that. Zoom in where you want to start uh, mixing the skin tone so i'm gonna start here on the forehead and i'm gonna mix the skin colors just like that i'm gonna mix the highlights with the shadows and create a nice make sure to not overdo this because if you overdo the process it will not look that good so you have to be careful and i'm using a vacuum tools pro s i'm using a pen to retouch this portrait i'm not using a mouse because when i switched from mouse to the pen it was a huge relief for me and it has speed in my, my workflow so if you want to get the best results you have to go get a pen tablet so here we have a before and after what we've done so far into this portrait and now I'm going to work here on the neck. A little bit on the arms. Now check a before and after again. And I think that it's starting to look okay. Now I'm going to zoom in here and work just a little bit more. So check a before and after every time that you're working and I think that it's starting to look okay. Now click on the texture because we are going to work with the texture. So in the texture we have to click here on the clone stamp tool and make sure that opacity is 100 and flow is 100. I'm just going to zoom in and we have to copy paste that texture. So we have to create a sample. You have to click alt keyboard, hold it and just click to copy and just paint to paste just like that so um, if you uh, clean the portrait in the beginning you don't have to do this process because uh, when when you clean perfectly in the beginning there is no remaining uh, things to clean but uh, we can uh, clean the texture just a little more just like that but uh, you have to be careful that it don't want to create like uh, bad texture. For example, if you if you copy here and you paste it here, as you can see, it will leave bad marks. For or the otherwise, just copy here and paste it here. And as you can see, you have a uh, bad texture. So you have to be careful, and you need to copy paste as near as possible, just like that.
So here I have a before and after of the African separation and I think that is looking okay. Now click on the color and click on dungeon burn, click play, wait until it's done and open the dungeon burn group, turn on the black metal player, click on the dodge, click B for brush, choose 10% of opacity and 100% flow and I'm gonna put some dodge into this portrait or some highlights. You can even turn on and off the black metal player to check how much highlight we are putting into a portrait just like that so check before and after every time that you're working now click on the burn put some contours into this portrait now check up before and after and if you think that is kind of too much you can always reduce the opacity of the mask just like that now click on the dodge again and i think that is kind of too much so check a before and after of this entire process and I think that is looking okay but I think that we have overdone the process with the mixer brush in the color so I'm gonna reduce it just a little. Now check a before and after of this entire process and yeah I think it's okay. I'm gonna add just a little more light into the lips. like that so here's a before and after now that we are done with frequency separation and the dungeon burn inside the frequency separation it's time to work on the eye makeup so i'm just gonna click here on the eyeshadow that says pick a color and smoky eyes so i'm gonna paint on the smoky eyes first so with 10 percent opacity and 100 percent low i'm just gonna paint on the sides of the eyes just like that so here's before and after and they are starting to look better now click here on the shadow uh, eye shadow sorry that says pick a color so you can pick uh, whatever color that you want so I'm gonna go with the swatches and I think that I'm gonna go with this color or maybe this one or maybe the pink and 10% brush of opacity and 100% flow I'm just gonna paint around the eyes just like that do the same process in both of them just like that you can pick a color that you want it doesn't matter and here we have the results and I think they're looking okay but I'm gonna switch to a darker color just like that and I think that this one and paint on the sides of the eyes just like that And I'm gonna choose a lighter one for the mid or the highlights of this makeup, just like that. So here we have a before and after. And you can double click here and we are going to divide the uh, highlights from the shadows. You can click Alt and just drag and drop this just like that. Do the same process for the shadows and here we have a before and after zoom in and I think that is looking okay now click here that says I uh, sorry eyeshadow pop click play and just paint around the eyeshadows just like that uh, this uh, actions uh, makeup artist retouching actions 2023 is amazing for makeup artist so if you're a makeup artist and you're looking to enhance your portrait make sure to download these actions because they are really amazing as you can see the results so here's a before and after i'm gonna click here again on the eyeshadow and reduce it by 50 percent now click here on the smoky eyes and reduce it just a little Click here on the eyeshadow pop and I think that 25 will be enough. Now check a before and after again and I think that we are good. Now click on the cheeks. We have some cherry cheeks. You have just to paint on the cheeks just like that. Make sure uh, to do the same process in both sides. So here's before and after and I think they're looking good. Now click here on the lipstick color. Click play. Wait until it's done. 
zoom in into the lips and turn on a lipstick color that is inside the group and just paint on the layer mask of this group just like that So here we have a uh, different lipstick colors. You can check them one by one. And as you can see, we have to put just a little more into this one. Zoom out and check the lipsticks one by one. And until you find your best color. But for example, if you don't find your color that you're looking for, you can just uh, double click here and choose whatever color that you're looking for. And I think that I'm going to stick with this one. And click on the lipstick color group and reduce the opacity by 35 maybe. Now you can check it before and after again. And I think that I'm going to go with 20. So I'm going to check another lipstick color. And I think that I'm going to switch from the first one because uh, this one might look better I think this one is okay uh, it's not too much and I think is perfect for this portrait and now that we are done with the lipstick you can click here on the ice retouch and click play click continue click ok you can zoom in here into the ice and this one is to remove the veins so you have to paint inside the white of the eyes, just like that. Now click on the eyeball, uh, sorry, brightening. This one is for the white of the eyes too. Just like that, you have to zoom out. Now click on the remove veins because 100% is kind of too much. So I'm going to go by 25. Now click on the brightening and reduce this to 25 now check it before and after i think it's okay click on the eyeball brightening zoom in and paint with 100 percent opacity just like that so here's before and after and i think that is okay click uh, on the iris contour sorry and paint around the iris this one is for the contours. It works fine even with the eyelashes because it's a darker. And as you can see a before and after, you can just reduce it just a little. And here we have a before and after. So here is before and after everything that we've done so far into this portrait. And now that we are done with the makeup uh, details, Time to put some sharpen, some basic contrast and some face contour. So click on sharpen, click play, click continue, click OK. And it's uh, with a dark layer mask, so we have to switch into the white. So click Control and I. So here we have the sharpen. You can zoom in, check a before and after. And if you think that 100% is too much, so just lower it by 50%. Now click on the basic contrast, click play. And I think this one we have to reduce it. So here's a before and after. Now click on the face contour, click play. So here's a before and after of the face contour. And I think that is looking amazing. So here we have a before and after. So this was the before and this is after. Before and after. So that's it for this video tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something from this video tutorial. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find this amazing raw file and the retouching actions. Uh, make sure to follow, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know if I'm understandable or not. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.